hey welcome back to my channel sorry i haven't done a video in a few weeks uh, i've been super busy as you can probably tell though um from the last video i did where i dyed my hair that peach color the yellow has completely gone the peach color has gone a really pink shade the red is still hanging on in there though and i apologize my roots desperately need doing hence wearing the hat I don't normally wear a hat when I'm sitting around the house, but I wanted to hide those roots because I'm going to be dyeing it again soon. So I thought today's video I will do, um, purely because I love watching them, I'm a nosy parker, I thought I would do a what is in my handbag. So this is my everyday bag, which a lot of people have says weighs a ton, but this has just got everything I need in it. So this bag is a vegan leather one, so it's faux leather. Um, it's from Topshop. I got this just before Christmas because the bag I had and was using um, had no zip. So this one's got a zip close and obviously cold weather, rain, stuff like that. I needed one that zipped up. I'm not really a handbag person, so... I will use a bag and then like not really change it at all. I hate handbags. I'm more of a shoe gal through and through. Shoes and sunglasses. Handbags to me are literally just essential items that we have to have. So this has got everything that I need in it. Um, so yeah, like I said, you've got that bow level. It's one handled. And then you've got this chain detail on there. If I can find it, if they still sell it, um, I will link it in the description box below if not i'm sure you could probably find similar ones it's just basically a plain black bag and that was so hard to find trying to find a plain black handbag was almost impossible but i managed to hunt one down and got this off um, from topshop on asos okay so the other probably thing is i'm really hella organized so my bag has all got like different pouches in there the actual bag itself doesn't come with any inside pockets it's kind of um you'll see it once i've got everything out it's got one of those little card holder side pockets it's like what's gonna go in there that doesn't fit anything in it but it's okay because like i said i've got little pouches that have got everything else in um so i thought the best way to do this and i will grab a cup of tea from the side oh got one as I was saying, I thought the best way to do this would just be go in, grab, and then show you. This is literally what I carry around every single day with me. So yeah. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna grab out of here is a um, mini hairbrush. Not that I brush my hair very often because I like that mucky look. It doesn't actually get that knotty. Um, but uh, this is a little mini hairbrush. This one is by Lee Stafford and it's small enough to fit in the bag. Um, if you know of any smaller ones, please let me know because this doesn't fit into any of my little containers that are in here. And I'd love to have one that does like maybe a folding up one or whatever. And okay, so the next one is, okay, so a pair of sunglasses. These ones are my Ray-Ban aviators that I've had for absolutely ages. Um, I've just always got a pair of sunglasses in my bag I normally wear different ones but I like to always know that I've got a pair in case you go out and it's raining because classic British weather you can go out and it'll be full-on raining and clouding half hour later beautiful sunshine and you won't have a pair of sunglasses so I always like to make sure I've got sunglasses in there um, talking of glasses I've also got my actual glasses in there um, I don't really need to wear these very often, apart from like if I'm doing screen work, reading, um, or driving, I need to wear them when I'm driving as well. So if I go out somewhere and I have to like fill in paperwork at the doctor's or something like that, it's always good to have my glasses on me. I hate wearing them with a passion, but yeah. Uh, the other thing then that is loose in here is my perfume. This one is the Stella McCartney Pop. Um, I think it's the blueberry pop one. So this is just the 30 mil one. Obviously, I love Stella McCartney. She is vegan and cruelty free. Everything she does is vegan and cruelty free, um, which I love her for. And this one actually smells really nice. It's a really nice summery fragrance. Before I was using this one, I was using the Kat Von D one. But they've discontinued them. Of course they have. 
which I hate it when you find a really nice perfume that suits you and then they discontinue it. What? Why? Why do that? All right, so rant over. <laughs> Next thing that is in here is, this is one of the bigger ones. Um, so this is a water bottle. I got this one uh, from New Look. This is just a Friends one. I love Friends. <laughs> so you've got like little quotes on there, like how you doing and it's a moot point. Um, you're my lobster, ugly naked guy. And then you've got like pictures on there of like the chicken, the duck, um, the coffee cup, Friends logo, the sofa couch um the mirror that's on monica's the back of monica's door like, like a little purple thing that goes around the keyhole it's not a mirror is it no it's not a mirror but it looks like a mirror um so yeah that's just my water bowl and that's just got that one there this has actually still got some um vimto in it from earlier <laughs> okay um so again on the friends thing this is uh, a friends and makeup revolution lobster um makeup brush holder so you got like a lobster detail on there and it came with the makeup brushes inside of it but i took the makeup brushes out and now i just use it to store the makeup that i'm wearing that day so like what i know i'm gonna need to um top up so in here we have got the so this is the barium lip rehab nourishing lip mask so that's in that one there i don't know if you can actually see that um another lip balm because you can never have too many lip balms so i've got the hemp heavy duty lip care in there as well even more lip stuff um this is the what brand is this actually oh this is the barry m that swell lip plumper um it's just a clear gloss uh, but it's one of those ones that gives you that um it's got like aniseed in it so it gives you that tingly sensation it's supposed to plump them up i don't think it plumps them up but it's meant to I just like the feel of it sometimes, especially because I wear uh, liquid lips a lot and they can dry out your lips. Um, so I've got that. I've also got the <laughs> very, very used, it's got no print on it anymore. This is the Tattoo Liner by KVD Beauty. I've always got one of these rolling in there. Not that I'm wearing any eyeliner today, but I always like to have one just in case. Spare eyelash glue case you know you don't want to be walking around and it starts hanging off um and then also because of that i got the uh eyelash tweezers that help you put them on just in case you need to do any top up then i always put in the liquid lip that i'm wearing on that day so today i was wearing the lime crime and this is in the shade pre i love this one because it's just a very natural neutrally shade and apparently also in here I have a Debbie Bowie guitar pick because why not? And this one is actually, oh hang on, this one tells me where it's from. This one is from Camden Guitars, so it's just a little Aladdin Sane David Bowie guitar pick in there. So that's what I carry around, so that just hands um, my, what the, would you need would top it up on there. I don't really carry a load of makeup in my bag because there's no room. The other one in here then is, oh, dig it out. So this is a Vivian Westwood pouch. Um, the actual uh, thing that came around it has come off. I've also got a slivering key ring on there. Uh, this actually came free back in the day with Vivian Westwood perfumes. So it was like, when, you know, when you get a free gift with purchase. So that came with that. And all I've got in here is like my charging leads. Um, a portable charger and a dictaphone because the journalist in me can't go anywhere without a dictaphone because you never know when a story is going to break as if where i live barely anything happens i don't know why i carry that around but i do okay so then we have got digging deep right into the bottom now um pencil case pretty self-explanatory just got uh, so this is a Mickey Mouse one, the vintage like Mickey Mouse. And then you've just got pens in here. Um, a torch, a little mini torch, why not? I live by a seaside, it gets quite dark down here. Um, we got a little mini Marc Jacobs, tiny little Sharpie. And you got, apparently I've got two syringe pens. These are actually Byros. It's okay, they just made to look like 
syringes. Uh, another guitar pick. This one is Shameful Behaviour and Stig. This is Mark's one. Uh, a couple of pencils. So we've got <laughs> we've got a Chanel pencil and a Vogue 100 from when I went to that exhibition. And I'm running out of fingers and hands to hold all of this. Uh, Sharpie highlighter. In case you want to highlight while you're out. I don't know. And my Parker pen. My pride and joy. I love my parking fountain pen. Because sometimes you just like to write in fountains. And then what else is in here? Oh, healing stone. Calming healing stone. It's supposed to help like when you're feeling anxious and stuff. You can hold that. So the other pouch that's in here. Uh, okay, this, uh, this one is like a snake skin, crocodile skin. I can't remember. Uh, this is, again, it's this faux leather. And I got this one from Superdrug. And inside this one, this is where I've got like all my first aid stuff and all the stuff that you probably need. If like, what gets you the nickname Mumberg? I've got everything in here and it came in handy at work the other day because my friend needed a um, blister plaster. Your girl's got them. So in here we have got, obviously in this climate, we have got uh, hand sanitizer. This is the so sorry not sorry clean on me hand gel. Um, and as I've said in previous videos, I'm sober. So we all had to start using hand sanitizers like religiously all the time, whenever you went anywhere. I was really struggling. It was really making me want to drink. Um, went to AA and they were like, it's the alcohol in them. So this one doesn't actually smell like alcohol. It does the same job, but it's got like a uh, sweet smelling to it. I don't actually remember what it smells like. Does it even say? Um, vanilla fragrance. So this one actually smells quite nice. Yeah. It just means you don't smell the alcohol, which is a damn sight better. And um, talking of COVID face mask. This one actually matches my shirt. I've got loads of different face masks. This is just the one I've been wearing. It actually needs a wash because <laughs> tell me if yours is like this. If you wear li li liquid lipsticks, just because we're wearing a face mask, we're wearing it for ourselves. And you know that because inside of the mask is just covered in makeup. So the other thing I got in here is soft mints. Didn't even realise I had a packet of those left. So they're going to get left out because I'm going to eat those. Um, a lighter because I'm always getting asked, have you got a lighter? Yes, but I want it back. Um, tissues. It's allergy season, as you can probably hear. I um, suffer from really bad hay fever. So it's always good to have one of those. Then we've got two different hand creams. This one's almost run out. This is the Fuji Green Tree by the Body Shop hand cream. And this is the Natural Extracts Lavender and Germ and... I, I can't say that word, there you go. Read that word. <laughs> I can't say it. In here, again, so there's those blister plasters I was talking about. I've also got a handful of normal plasters. <laughs> I say normal plasters. Okay, these ones are actually frozen. Um, I'm quite accident prone and I don't like those boring plain plasters so I get the kids ones. I just happen to have frozen ones this time. Uh, then we've got, these are travel bands. I get quite travel sick so these are uh, just handy to have. Um, you put them around your wrists like and they got like a plastic bit on the inside that presses on the pressure points. I don't know how they work. I think it's some kind of witchcraft but they work. They stop you from feeling sick on long journeys. So then we've also got a mini lint roller. I wear a lot of black clothes. I have cats. And every time I see a cat or a dog in the street, I'm going to want to pet it. If I go to your house and you've got an animal, I'm going to want to be friends with the animals. But I also still want my outfit to look good. So it's always nice to have a lint roller. Then um, menstrual cup in its little bag. I don't actually, um, so I use those because of the eco side of it. I've also got like uh, pads and tampons and stuff in here as well because you don't want to get caught out with a girl in the bathroom. Do you have one? And you're like, you don't want to be that bitch that has got like, nah, don't darling, don't use them. It's always nice to have them. Even if you're not going to use them, they're for the other women. 
we got to stick together, aren't we, girls? So the other thing in here then is um, lens wipes, so glasses wipes, so they don't get grubby. And then we've got <laughs> a little uh, Justin Mirror, Justin Mirror, <laughs> Justin Bieber Mirror, handheld mirror, and hairspray. Because, like I said, I like to when I'm not wearing a hat, I like to fluff my hair up so you can really see my layers. Uh, we've got a nail file in here. Um, another guitar pick. I swear these things breed and they just end up everywhere. So we've got another guitar pick here. And then my precious, my CBD oil, which um, can really help calm with my anxiety. I'm going to try and drop this back in here, but I'm probably going to end up just throwing it on the floor. Because <laughs> I'm getting it all out, there's like barely any room on this tiny little table that I use. So I'm just trying to get it all in there. Right, there you go. That's all in there. We'll put this down here as well. Okay, so the next thing that's in my bag is, where is it? Okay, so I've got this teeny tiny little lunchbox. This has got like a mermaid cat on it. And this is because this is probably the most high maintenance thing I do ever. I love tea, as you've probably noticed if you've been watching any of my videos, I've always got a cup of tea to hand. But I'm actually really fussy with tea. So I carry this tiny little box around that has PG tips in there. <laughs> which uh, people laugh at me about, but last time I went to see my dad, they only have decaf tetley. No, caffeinated PG tips. So it was handy that I had them because it meant that I could have a cup of tea before I could get to the shop and buy some actual PG tips for them. Here's the last thing that's in here then. Yeah, this is my uh, wallet got my keys attached to the side because like I said this bag comes with no little compartment the only compartment it comes with and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this it's black on black so when you open it up you've got this tiny little that's it that's the size of it that's not gonna hold my keys that's not gonna hold anything if anything that might hold another guitar pick but that's about it so yeah um I just attach my keys to my wallet by using one of these um, climbing hook things. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> but yeah, I attach it to my purse, one of these, and you just got my keys there um, with my key rings. So you've got my house key, my Tesco club card, um, my pet protect, which is my cat's chip ID. Then we've got this Marc Jacobs rat key ring and this uh, rose gold diamonded skull key ring that my mum got me um, a couple of years ago so the purse itself is this is a betsy johnson one and it's this tattoo rose design and when you open it up it's like a travel wallet so it's actually quite huge um so you've got like a little compartment here which opens up which is probably where you put your uh, plane tickets but i've got my passport in there got my driver's license here and then you've got loads of cold card compartments so you've got one there and you've got one at the back and then you've got another pocket at the back as well which is probably what like which is where i put it's where gift cards go to die <laughs> it's in this back part um it's where my tattoo vouchers are so as i can see i've got one booked in a couple of days got my national insurance card in there uh, my european health card and like i said gift cards where they go to die and a library card <laughs> people still go to libraries i do still got my library car rocking on in there as well I've actually got cash in here that's quite nice to know then you've got a uh, zip compartment where you can put like your coins and more guitar pits uh, so yeah that's what's in my wallet and again this one is a uh, faux leather so it's all fake so that is everything that I carry around on a daily basis. Obviously, when I go out to gigs and stuff, I have a smaller bag, which um, when we're allowed back out again and I actually have to dig it out and use it, I'll probably do another one of these videos and show you what I have in my gig bag because some of it's the same, some of it's completely different because my purse doesn't fit in there, nor do many of my pouches. None of those fit in there. I'll do that in a separate one. Anyway, anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, 
give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe um say hey down in the comments as well because i love talking to you guys anyway thank you so much and i'll see you on the next one